We just met some local tourists. This is fantastic! <laughs> Good morning and welcome. Hey everybody, where are we today, Maria? We are Smale Salisbury Tours. Yes, so many of you will have seen our travel vlogs as we've been to Zante, Cyprus, Flen, but today we're doing a travel vlog and tourism guide to our hometown of Salisbury. We're gonna be seeing sites around Salisbury. Over the weekend, we're gonna be going further afield. So I haven't figured out yet whether this is gonna be like a one day episode or a three day episode or three one day episodes. So that's the plan. We're going to drive past Stonehenge. 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 Which is one of the wonders of the world. But we think it might be a little bit expensive to put rocks in the field. But we're going to leave that for our guests to decide. Because we're here with some friends of ours, aren't we? Who have come from a faraway land. But... Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. To the stones. What's this, Maria? It's cartwheel pig farming. This is traditional, traditional pig farming this around a central hub. This is fascinating. Wow. You do that line from Snatch. Always be wary of a man with a pig farm. Pigs will go through bone like butter. I'm more interested in Stonehenge. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, first stop achieved. Been to Stonehenge. Well, we decided to drive just past we did it, didn't drive we? Drive by. Because it's very expensive to go and stand next to some stones in a field. And you can't even touch them anymore. Not when we were young, and you could walk right up to stones and, and touch them and sit on them and generally abuse ancient artifacts. But no, we understand reasons why they do that. To preserve them for years to come. We're going to get to Old Sarum now. Oh yes, we're going to go to Old Sarum. <laughs> Let's go. We've come in this side here. So then there's your central bit here. This is the site of the old church which is across the other side here. It was founded by William the Conqueror and then lots of other kings used what, it after. Was it William that fired the arrow? No. No, who fired the An arrow? An archer. An archer fired the arrow from here to here. So says the legend. And my dad would stand us up there and he'd go, imagine that there was a bad guy trying to get up. Hello. Brunnere. <laughs> There we go. See the new bills over there. Famously, Old Sarum is where they fired the arrow to mark where the cathedral is going to be built. And the current mayor of Salisbury actually threw a frisbee to where they're building new houses over there. Interesting, totally untrue fact for you. Salisbury Cathedral. All the locals are going to know this. Tallest spire in Europe. There you go. That's the true fact. Where are we, Maria? We are um, at the Bell Tower. We're going for afternoon tea here, in front of here, which is something I've never done before. I've been to Old Sarah, been to Stonehenge before, but never had afternoon tea in front of the cathedral. There was a British guy in another booth from what is orange. I wanted Mike to go and tell him, should we go and have our tea? Scone. Yeah. Scone. Scone is better. Scone. And then I say delicious. No, delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I just know you're mocking me. No. <laughs> it feels like, you know like when you see a TV show and mm. people are trying to be British. Yeah. You've got that sound to like. <laughs> yeah. One enjoy yeah. afternoon tea. Mm. This is delicious. What's that? That's nice. Being local tourists. <laughs> Maria and I can highly recommend the Bell, Bell Tower Tea Rooms. Bell Tower Tea Rooms, very nice. Is it Levers? I used to sing that at school. That concludes part one of our tour, but we have one final stop to do, don't we? Yes, the most incredible of them all. <laughs> That's the place. 
That's right, we're going to a music It's shop. amazing! <laughs>